What if the Philippines was a part of the U.S.? Exploring the implications. Welcome to our exploration of an intriguing question. What if the Philippines had remained a part of the United States? In this video, we will delve into the potential impacts and possibilities that could have arisen if the Philippines had continued under U.S. control. The Philippines, a vibrant and culturally diverse country, gained independence from the United States in 1946. However, considering the historical context, we can ponder the economic prospects and potential advantages the Philippines might have experienced if it had remained a part of the U.S. Examining this hypothetical scenario, we will explore the idea of the Philippines benefiting from the United States' strong economy, stability, and emphasis on education. We will also consider the potential challenges and drawbacks, such as the loss of sovereignty and the impact on national identity. Throughout our exploration, we will provide a balanced perspective, acknowledging both the potential benefits and the importance of the Philippines' unique path to independence. Our aim is to shed light on the complex factors that influence a nation's economic development and to encourage thought-provoking discussions about alternative histories. So, join us on this journey as we delve into the question of whether the Philippines would have been richer if it had remained a part of the United States. Let us navigate through the possibilities, challenges, and implications that shape the country's unique narrative and its pursuit of prosperity. The history of the Philippines is intertwined with that of the United States, with a period of colonization and subsequent independence. However, what if the Philippines had remained a part of the United States? In this thought-provoking exploration, we delve into the hypothetical scenario of the Philippines being a territory or state of the United States and examine the potential implications across various aspects of society. Historical Context To understand the possible outcomes, we must first explore the historical context. The Philippines became part of the United States in 1898 after the Spanish-American War. While under American rule, improvements in infrastructure, education, and healthcare were made. However, the Filipino people yearned for self-governance and independence, leading to a strong nationalist movement. The Philippines gained independence on July 4, 1946, in line with the global trend of decolonization. The United States recognized the importance of supporting self-determination and the aspirations of nations. Factors contributing to the U.S. decision included shifting global priorities, the growth of the nationalist movement, and international pressure for decolonization. Granting independence to the Philippines aligned with changing geopolitical dynamics and the United Nations' emphasis on self-governance. Political Implications If the Philippines had remained a part of the U.S., it would have had a different political structure. The country would have been subject to U.S. laws, governance, and institutions. The Filipino people would have had representation in the U.S. Congress and the opportunity to influence American politics. Additionally, the Philippines would have benefited from U.S. government support, expertise, and resources in areas such as infrastructure development, healthcare, and education. Economic Considerations Economically being a part of the U.S. could have brought both advantages and challenges. The Philippines would have had access to the vast U.S. market, providing opportunities for trade, investment, and economic growth. Integration into the U.S. economy could have accelerated industrialization and modernization, leading to improved infrastructure and technological advancements. However, it is important to consider the potential impact on local industries and the ability to maintain a strong national identity in the face of American economic dominance. Cultural and social dynamics. Being a part of the U.S. would have undoubtedly influenced the cultural and social fabric of the Philippines. The country would have experienced increased exposure to American culture, values, and ideals. English would likely have become even more widely spoken potentially leading to a higher degree of bilingualism or even English dominance. While this could have facilitated international communication and opportunities, it may have also posed challenges to the preservation of native languages and cultural traditions. Education and social welfare. 
Under the hypothetical scenario of the Philippines being a part of the United States, the influence on education and social welfare systems would have been substantial. The United States has a well-developed education system with high standards, advanced resources, and modern teaching methods. If the Philippines had adopted these standards, it would have resulted in improved access to quality education for Filipinos. The implementation of U.S. educational standards could have meant better equipped schools, up-to-date curriculum, and qualified teachers. This would have provided Filipino students with a more comprehensive and competitive education, preparing them for higher education and future career opportunities. Additionally, the United States has a strong focus on social welfare programs and initiatives. If the Philippines had been a part of the U.S., it is likely that the country would have benefited from similar programs aimed at improving health care, social services, and infrastructure development. For instance, the U.S. government invests in health care systems, ensuring that citizens have access to quality medical services. This focus on health care could have resulted in improved medical facilities, better health care access for all Filipinos, and advancements in medical research and technology. Moreover, Social services such as welfare programs, housing initiatives, and assistance for vulnerable populations could have been implemented, targeting poverty reduction and providing support to those in need. This could have potentially improved the overall well-being of the Filipino population and contributed to reducing social inequalities. Infrastructure development is another area where the United States excels. With its expertise in building and modernizing infrastructure, the Philippines could have seen significant improvements in transportation networks, utilities, and public facilities. This would have enhanced connectivity within the country, facilitated economic growth, and improved the overall quality of life for Filipinos. International Relations and Global Influence As a U.S. territory or state, the Philippines would have played a different role in international relations. The country's foreign policy military alliances, and diplomatic engagements would have aligned closely with those of the United States. The Philippines would have contributed to U.S. global influence and potentially benefited from stronger defense and security cooperation with the U.S. military. Philippines-China Relations In the hypothetical scenario of the Philippines being a part of the United States, the relationship between the Philippines and China would likely have been influenced by the broader geopolitical dynamics between the U.S. and China. The U.S., as a global superpower, has historically been a major player in maintaining stability and security in the Asia-Pacific region. Under U.S. governance, it is reasonable to assume that the Philippines would have benefited from the strategic support and defense alliances that the U.S. maintains with its allies. This could have provided a level of deterrence against any potential aggression or bullying from China. Conclusion Exploring the hypothetical scenario of the Philippines being a part of the United States allows us to reflect on the intricate connections between history, politics, culture, and economics. While this scenario presents potential advantages such as political representation, economic integration, and access to resources, it also raises concerns about cultural preservation, national identity, and maintaining sovereignty. The Philippines' journey to independence and its development as a sovereign nation have shaped its unique character and rich cultural heritage. While the hypothetical scenario of the Philippines as a part of the U.S. offers intriguing possibilities, it is important to respect the nation's history, values, and the aspirations of its people. The Philippines continues to maintain its own government, economy, and foreign relations, while also maintaining a cooperative relationship with the United States. It is through these interactions that both countries continue to benefit from cultural exchange, economic partnerships, and diplomatic cooperation.